Hi, everybody. It's Nicole. Chalking it up 18 and talking chalk. I'm back and I want to show um, this transfer. So it's a rather larger transfer. So this might be good for some of you to see how we can work with a bigger transfer. This board I'm using, I actually redid and it was a, actually it was a home interior picture. And I re redid the frame and spray painted the glass with chalkboard paint. So I, this is on our gallery wall. And as soon as we get that done again, I'm going to show it. But this will be, this is good motivational for us to see while we're doing it. Um, while we're waiting for a couple people to join, I am just going to go ahead and share my video to all the different places. I hope everybody had a good day today. The camera's a little close, but um, at least I feel like you guys can see it good. And let's share it to, I want to share it to my team page. And hold on one more spot. I'm going to share it here. And oh, let me see. Let's see. I think that will do it. Okay. Oh, hi, Lauren. I'm so glad you're here. Is baby boy watching too? Okay. So let's get started here. I am going to, this transfer is called Dreams Don't Work Unless You Do. Um, I am going to be using two color pastes. Um, one is called Seafoam which is our new En Vogue color. It's one of our, we, um, every catalog, Chalk Couture brings out five colors that um, they call En Vogue. So this is one of them, it's Sea Foam. And then I'm gonna be using the new Almond. Um, I was just gonna do two colors. The Sea Foam will look good on our gallery board. Hi, baby boy. Mimi can't see you, but Mommy says you can see me. Well, you can't see me. I guess you can only see my hands. <laughs> so I'm just going to open this transfer up. It is brand new, so that means we're going to fuzz. And because this one's larger, we're going to use two. So let's see. Oh, I see my husband's watching. Oh, he's eating macaroni and cheese. I thought he didn't like that. Hi, Randy. All right. Let's see. So while I'm going to be fuzzing this and getting this ready, I'm going to go ahead and talk about what tomorrow is. Tomorrow is August 1st. And I made a post a couple days ago. Chalk Couture is opening up the vault. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Well, we might have a slight problem. But this is good. This is good for you all to see. So hopefully it's not too bad. It's not. You really don't want to stretch out your transfers. So if this is as bad as I think it might be, we may have to. All right, we're good. If that happens when the transfer folds back on itself and it's really bad, instead of 
pulling it, it's best just to wet it, unstick it. That one wasn't too bad. So we're going to go ahead and do that this way now. I'm going to give this a fuzz a couple more times because this one is a new one. If it folds back on itself, you can wet it and it will unstick. It's really not good to pull them. Um, that one wasn't too bad. It wasn't stuck to itself too bad, so I didn't feel like I was going to ruin it by doing that. Okay, so I think that might be good. So I'm just going to place this on my board, see where I think I like it. Mm, that looks good, about right there. So I'm just going to push it down a little bit. I'm not going to press too hard and pushing this one down. This board is not a chalk couture surface, so it may stick to it a little more than I want it to, but so far it feels good. I think I got a little something underneath it here I want to get out. A little bit of dust. Okay. All right. So that looks good. So basically when you're working with a larger transfer, what you want to be able to do is paste, you know, put some paste down, pull it up and then just, you know, let it fall back down. And as you go up, just remove more and more of it loosely so that you can the paste doesn't dry in the silk screen before you get the whole thing done. If I was only doing one color, I would just put it all down at once and then, you know, squeegee off and pull the transfer up. Hi, Lynn's. Um, so because I'm going to use two colors, I'm going to do it in stages. And I think that I am going to, I will start with the sea foam. Now this is the consistency you'd want your paste. Now this one's pretty much brand new, so it's very nice. Um, if it gets a little dried up, you just add a little bit of um, water to it. And you should be able to get it to come back to life because it is chalk paste so it does dry up but it's not a problem you don't have to throw it away all right so let me get a bigger squeegee we're gonna work in this area and I think I'm going to um let's see a little bubble there I'm gonna use the almond on this area So I'm just going to work here, put this down, and while I'm working I'm going to talk about that vault opening. I am so pumped up about that. I hope that there are some transfers that are, that I really wanted that retired before I joined because that will be so, I would love that. Absolutely love it. They had a mermaid one that was so detailed and so beautiful. And I never, I never did, I wasn't able to get it. And I really, really hope that that one is the one that's coming back. At least for a little bit because my granddaughter will love that and it was a good one so i'm gonna squeegee around on this sea foam just get in those little spots and this is chalk chalk paste with a chalkboard so 
if I don't like it or I want to change it quickly, I can just take it off. One of these days I'm going to show a video on how to get it off the board so you can start fresh. Alright, let me squeegee this off and then I'm going to pull up a little. Let me try to get this part right here. Use a smaller squeegee on that. I should probably could have done that in green. But that's all. So I'm just going to squeegee off some of this and I am going to do a little more green quickly on this area here and on this area. All the products I'm using are in the description. For anyone who's interested in looking at that information, all you got to do is click the link. And I know I always say, please like and share my videos. That is the best compliment that I can receive. And that is definitely a good way to help build my small business if everybody would just like and share my pages, follow me on Instagram and Pinterest. I have a Pinterest, Facebook. All right, so now we're going to move right along. I am going to put some green here, some green here, and I will be working with the almond. So I pulled that up just a little bit so that it wouldn't dry underneath the, or so the paste dries underneath and not on top of the screen is what I actually mean. And I'm actually standing because this board is larger. bit more here I'm gonna I'm putting it on a little thicker so that it doesn't dry as quickly while I'm working with the other color squeegee down on the green. Oops. Get a little close in there. Squeegee that off. with the almond. Get that all cleaned up. Got a little bit of green mixed in my almond, so I don't want to put that back. Pull up a little bit more.
and I'm pulling up evenly so that I don't stretch my transfer out because God knows we just folded it up on itself. All right, let's get a little bit here of this green and a little bit here. And I'm going to go ahead and get this done. So we're coming to the final stages. Squeegee, squeegee. I want to thank everybody for watching. All right. Let me just get some of that off of there. Get that off of there. Come down one to this. I'll squeegee that off. All right. Get my green taken care of. All right, almost done. All right, guys, let's see what we got. transfer aside okay so what I see is just a tiny bit of um, bleed and I'm going to show you how to correct that so I have some q-tips beside me I am just gonna fix that Okay, there you go. So there you have it. All finished. Dreams don't work unless you do. So this is again going on my gallery wall. And we will be showing that soon. And I just want to send a quick reminder that the vault opens tomorrow. I will be making a post of what's coming back in. Um, so everybody can see in case anyone's interested. And again, I have everything in the comments, the description of everything I use today, it, with exception of the board. The board is not a chalk couture board. That was the board I had redone. So I appreciate everybody watching. Thanks for joining me and I will see you real soon.